What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 LeBron James Mamba Edition Swingman Jersey. If you were like me and bought the pre-order, it was a nightmare. Um, fortunately, I mean, of course Nike would have it in stock because they make the jerseys, but the way they distributed it like throughout other retailers was a mess. Initially, I bought the pre-order at fanatics.com in July. The NBA store also had a pre-order in July as well, but those two big retailers that actually partner with the NBA did not have them in stock till like a couple days ago. So they're starting to ship it out now, but my local malls, they, they had a shoe palace that had it in stock and it's kind of like Foot Locker, but weirdly enough, like, I don't know, some of these local malls had it, I, weird. I don't know how it got distributed, but it looked like a whole mess. With pre-orders, sometimes these things do happen. It's not always gonna be perfect. Sometimes it's smooth release dates and things get out so quick. Sometimes it goes the other spectrum where it gets released and then it gets pushed back. And you know, it, it happens in shoes. It happens in any type of pre-order situation. So if you've ever worked in logistics, I mean, you have to keep, it's not always a perfect ship, let's be honest. So. You know, if you did get the pre-order, at least you've locked yourself in and, you know, you for sure have a jersey coming rather than you missing out on anything and then paying double, triple on resale prices. So, uh, it just depends on how you look at it. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the 2021 version of the Mamba Edition jersey. Initially, when it released a couple years ago, these things sold out so quick and they never restocked. So, people have been waiting for Nike to re-release these. Finally got them in stock. So I got it at Nike.com for 110 bucks. We'll go ahead and unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and hopefully help you decide if this is something you want to purchase yourself. So if you find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Just so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Right here, we got the first look. Boom, look at that. You got LeBron James. Look at the jersey base. You got that Mamba skin base. And right here we got the front, the Lakers. Man, the purple and gold. Then you got the black Mamba skin. Super sick, tribute to Kobe Bryant, RIP. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Starting off at the collar, you got that rib material. You got the purple and gold. Switches over to purple and black. And then on the arm openings, you get the same style as well. And then since it's Swingman jersey, look at the Jerry West logo. It's nice and heat pressed. But look at the jersey base. You can see the Mamba skin. It feels like your pretty prototypical Swingman jersey material on the base, but they have these like designs sublimated onto the jersey to replicate the Mamba skin. Super sick. And then you got LeBron James. You got that gold. Well, it's kind of like yellow. Nice and heat pressed. LeBron James. Then you go to 23. So. If you follow basketball, he's not gonna be wearing 23 any longer. He's gonna be changing it over to six. But on this jersey, it's gonna be 23. Then we go to the bottom right. So Nike's making a little change. So on the bottom right corner, it says dry fit. It's a little touch, just a little detail, but it's a little heat press piece. And that right there, guys, is the back of the jersey. And on the front side, you got the same style for the collar. Supplemented colors, arm openings, same style as well. And on the neck label, they're just making little changes this year. So you got the NBA logo, the Nike swoosh, the font right here for dry fit. They just change up very slightly of how it looks to previous years. So 44 medium. You got this little logo. I'm not sure what that logo is. If someone knows, let me know. And then you got the retail tag. So now they use a kind of like recycled cardboard 110 medium. It's like less tags than the years prior. Probably gives the dry fit material. Um, NBA store, retail tags with the holograph. So that's it. On the Nike swoosh, you got that gold or yellow. Nice and heat pressed. It really pops on the Mamba skin, the black and the contrast and colors. That is dope. Then we got Lakers, one heat press piece that goes across the chest. Then you got 23. Like I said, not gonna wear 23. He's gonna be wearing six. All heat pressed. 
And then when we go to the jock tag, so you got Swingman, you got NBA Authentic, 44, which is a medium, and then you got the Nike Swoosh. And then we got the retail tags, made in, well, the wash tags. Made in Thailand, you got the Nike codes, and then quality control number right there. And that right there, guys, is the back, well, front, I mean, of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 175 pounds. I usually wear a t-shirt size medium. I always recommend going with your t-shirt size, so it kind of gives you like a, a good measuring meter on how the jersey will fit. Everybody's body type is a little different. So if you're like bulkier, muscular, or you know, got some extra weight, um, I'd go a size up. You just gotta have to play around with how the Nike sizing fits with you because everyone has a different body type. No one's exactly the same shape. But right here we got a medium, 5'6", 175. Fits really nice. You got the front of the jersey. Looks sick. Side panels, you got nothing on the side. Then you got the back. You got LeBron James. Uh, oh, flop. Uh, that right there is my best version of a flop. I almost killed myself. I almost ran out the door. But off the bat, it feels like your pretty standard Nike Swingman jersey from years prior. The jersey base is the same. If you've ever watched my video where I tried out the Youth Mamba Edition jersey, that's before they even released these, it's pretty much the same materials. Um, you, the design just looks amazing. You got the snake skin and, you know, it colors really pop with the purple and gold on the black. Super sick, and then I love that it's a tribute to Kobe Bryant. I mean, I wish they made a Kobe version of this, but that's a whole different story. They're having issues with Nike and things like that. With this, nothing really changed on the jersey. Um, I mean, you got the little touches, little details that they tweak year to year, like the neck label and then having it say dry fit on the back, the retail tags, but it's pretty much the same jersey, just little tweaks here and there. Um, it looks like they probably mass produced this one. They had like more quantities than compared to the last, the last drop of it. So that's probably a good sign, especially if you're a LeBron fan or, you know, if they have the other Lakers in the Mamba Edition jersey. So that's a good sign because that first time that it dropped, it just disappeared off the map. And then resale prices were ridiculous. Like a couple months ago before they actually released these, like in the beginning of the year, it, man, I was seeing like this style of jersey, just a swing man for like 400, 500 bucks and up. So. Now it's your opportunity to go get one and just lock it in and just have it for the rest of your life. <laughs> what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below and thank you again for watching and on to the next video.